Hello, fellow gunners. Tim here at the reloading bench. I got in some uh, gas checks. Aren't they pretty? Got it from Sages Outdoors. And I want to thank uh, Mike Treen and uh, Reloader76 for uh, giving me that information that link to uh, these guys guys check them out they have got all the gas checks you want they got them in uh, copper and aluminum <clears throat> and the aluminum's uh, depending on what calibers four to uh, two to four dollars cheaper So today, oh, and I also want to say thanks to FEMA because he showed me how to use this thing. <laughs> it's it's a Lyman, uh, what do you call it, uh, gas check cedar. <laughs> I had no idea how to use this stupid thing. It came with a little piece of paper that said something, I don't know. This is how you install it, and then to uninstall it, or to whatever. To take it apart, you just do the opposite. And I never could figure out, I was like, how's that thing fit in there like that? Is that just for one caliber? I thought it went in like that, and then I thought maybe there was a rod or something I was missing. But uh, he was explaining how he didn't have one, and and uh, he made a little block to go under his to uh, so he could use it his uh, light, uh, lubricizer sizer to uh, seat his uh, gas checks. And uh, I thought, well, I've had one for ten years and never knew how to use it. But it's kind of beveled down here on the bottom where you can just slide that right in underneath that uh, push rod. There we go. I'm going to be putting on some gas checks. I have found out that if I put the gas checks on up here and then put them in here, it goes smoother. That thing will automatically square itself. Then you just put a little pressure. And it just squares it right up. Let me get that in the light there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seat a bunch of these. I know a lot of you is going, boy, that's a lot of process. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Not that bad. Now, I have noticed... Now these are already powder coated, as you can tell. But the powder coat on this is thin enough that I don't have any problems pushing that on. Now I did have some that I had double coated and there's no way to get a gas check on them square. They just too thick. It won't go on. And now I noticed that uh, Eli shooting, he puts his gas checks on before he powder coats. 
And that might be one way of doing it. But I already had these done, so. And it's working for me. I say that. Now I'm having trouble. <laughs> Let me tell Sonny. There we go. It just takes a little bit of pressure. You don't have to crush it. And they're seated. I guess I could take this out and just go ahead and size them. I'm sizing these to uh, 0 0.309. But, since I've got this block in here, and I don't want to go to that, I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright. Thanks to uh, Eagle Eye Shooting, I've got a bushing for my uh, NOE Sides for body. So I'm just using it to go ahead and size these and crimp the uh, gas check on because it's a lot faster. I can seat my, my gas check over there, get it square, and then push it through here. And all I got to do is just push it through, let it fall in the container. Now, I've noticed on these containers, there's a ledge. And once the uh, bullets go through the hole and above this ledge, they tend to fall one way or the other. When they do that, some of them, if they gather up in there, and then your container lifts up and falls off. <laughs> then you got bullets all in the floor. What I done was I just took a piece of paper and rolled it up and stuck it in there. I believe it was Elvis that had one and he used hot glue or something and then drilled a hole in it. I believe that was Elvis. But that's what I'm doing today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if y'all like the dark frame glasses that I used to wear, I won't be wearing them anymore. I broke them slap in half. <laughs> and I'm going to post a picture on what I was doing when, uh, when that happened. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.